Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I'm going to answer a question that was put to me on YouTube. Let me read it. As a self-taught developer, when am I ready to start applying for software architect jobs? So my quick answer was when you've done seven to 10 decent sized projects from the start, from start to finish, maybe do one to two freelance jobs where you handle everything. And he responds, how long does it take to complete a decent sized project? Six months to a year? Good question. So a decent sized project this is not, does not necessarily mean how many months it's going to take you. I'm just talking about anything beyond um, a simple website with you know just a handful of pages. Now, if you're looking to architect large projects, then you should have worked on larger or at least medium-sized projects. You see, when you work on a small project, there's a certain um, working uh, set of working parameters that you have to contend with, you have to work with, versus working on a large project where you have to have a lot more controls in place because the larger the project, the more complex, uh, the more individuals will be working on the project, so you're going to have to put in more controls in terms of uh, the deployment and uh, managing the code base. Um, that's where a thing like uh, a repo, like a GitHub comes in very handy. Um, there's got to be more processes in place uh, to manage the different people working on a project to ensure that you know time is used uh, to a certain level of efficiency. Let me back up here. As you add more people on a particular project, it could be coding, it could be whatever the project may be, you need more uh, controls in place, more processes in place to manage all these people and coordinating all these people working together. So if you want to become an architect of larger projects, then you have to uh, build into your architecture the protocols that people are going to have to adhere to, things like, um, you know, managing the code base and so on. So if your goal is to architect small projects, then work on a few small projects. Small projects could be a few weeks to a month to get done. Medium-sized project, you're looking at maybe six six months or more to get done. Large projects, some, some large projects can take a couple of years to get done. So I'm assuming... Well, you know what? I'm not, I'm not assuming anything. Uh, that being said, you know, I don't know. You haven't indicated what level of architect you want to get into. What I would also do is I would check to see what uh, the requirements are that companies are asking for in terms of their architects. That being said, again, one of those fund fundamental lessons I keep hammering people uh, with is that you have to show real-world skills. So if you want to architect, get out there and start building projects from start to finish. Plan them out. Start with small projects, and you can expand from there. Because whether you work on small, medium, or large size projects, there are certain fundamentals of architecture. There are certain things you have to do uh, regardless. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, as the project becomes more complex, as more and more people are involved in the project, you're going to have to put into place certain protocols, certain technologies, perhaps, that you wouldn't have to for smaller projects. Uh, to make an analogy, um, if you're about to launch a, a battleship, a huge ship, there's a lot more you have to deal with in terms of make sure, you know, in terms of launching that huge ship versus launching a small boat for two or three people. You know, there are still checks you have to put into place if you're launching a small boat. Make sure you have your paddles. Make sure you have your life jacket. Uh, make sure uh, you're, you're clear of any rocks, you know, and you pretty much launch. Uh, when you're dealing with very large boats, I imagine there's 10,000 other things you got to deal with. Same thing with software as well. Same thing with the architecture. And there you go. So uh, like anything else in this, uh, in this life, you want to start out with simple stuff. So you get your feet wet uh, with simple stuff, and then you soar, then you slowly scale yourself up in that way. Now, um, now he's asking, how long does it take to complete a decent-sized project? Six months or a year? Uh, again, 
you know, I've done some projects where, uh, to add a little confusion, <laughs> I've done projects where uh, the previous company working on the project, they worked on it for a year and could not complete it. And I took it over and rewrote from scratch within a month and completed it and had it working bug free. Now, I was able to do that because I uh, leveraged a, a far superior technology at that time that was far more productive, and I was able to get the job out quicker simply because the technology was so much better than the previously used technology. So, you know, it's really hard to say. There's no fixed uh, number, if you will. But again, general rule is start off simple and start architecting. It's like uh, my friend's... Uh, Uncle, who was a very famous, uh, well-known director up here in Canada, did a huge number of shows in the 80s and stuff. And he gave, him, he gave my friend advice. He said, if you want to become a director, start directing small movies. Don't make the mistake and assume that to become a director, you have to learn about lighting, and then you have to learn about sound, and then you have to learn about videography. He says, if you do that, his director, his famous director, uncle, told him, if you do that, you can end up being a lighting guy, or you're going to end up being a videography guy. And it's, guess what? That's exactly what happened. My friend wanted to be a director, and he kept thinking about being a director, but he ended up being uh, somebody else in, in the process of creating uh, film and commercials but nowhere near being a director. And that's, again, he, made, he didn't listen to his uncle's advice. He didn't start directing. So if you want to start architecting, start architecting. Start with small projects, start building up, and then you can show on your resume, you can show people, listen, I, I managed this project from start to finish. Start with something simple. And then I managed this one, a little bit more complex. So jump into the game as an architect if you want to be an architect. I hope that uh, makes sense. And... Um, there you go.